Okay, so, a Pokemon Presents was released a few days ago, and DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was revealed. Now, even though I played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I will not be buying the DLC, and you should not buy the DLC either. And in this video, I will be talking about why. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were released around 3 months ago on the 18th of November last year. And as soon as people started playing Scarlet and Violet, it was clear that the games were rushed and needed more time in development. But Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were not awful on the content or gameplay side of things. Scarlet and Violet have the longest story out of any mainline Pokemon games. The quality wasn't the greatest, but it was still a pretty long story. And the post-game is very average. All you can really do is complete the Pokédex and rematch the gym leaders, but no one really complained about the content. Everyone was complaining about the performance issues. It was clear that Scarlet and Violet needed at least 4 or 5 more months in development in order for the games to actually be finished products that weren't faulty. Scarlet and Violet had glitches galore pathetic animations, disgusting looking textures, and were incredibly laggy. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet were not finished products. And only three months after Scarlet and Violet were released, Nintendo and Game Freak are making us pay for DLC for an unfinished game. So if I were to purchase the DLC, I would basically be supporting Game Freak and telling them that this practice of releasing an incomplete game and then making us pay more for DLC is fine. So if you want to buy the DLC, that's all good. Just know that you're basically supporting this awful practice. And this isn't me trying to guilt trip you. If you like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, that's fine. Buy the DLC. But if the DLC sells really well, then this is going to continue to happen. Then don't even get me started on the pricing. The DLC for Scarlet and Violet will cost $35. That is insane. That is over half the price of a full-priced first-party Nintendo Switch game. It blows my mind that there are people who are actually going to pay for this. And it's even crazier to me that there are people who defend this. And the reveal trailer for the DLC didn't even show anything off. It was literally a live-action video that had real people walking around at some markets, some weird locations that are just CGI, and pictures of what the DLC would be. They couldn't even be bothered to animate the pictures. They are literally still cartoon pictures. What makes me really sad though is that no one is complaining about the DLC. People in the comments section seem genuinely happy that Scarlet and Violet, being the unfinished games they are, are getting overpriced DLC. When did we start expecting so little from Pokemon? Why are we getting excited about overpriced DLC that is literally just adding Pokemon from older generations, new outfits, and story content that should have been in the game from day one? Have our standards become so low for Pokemon that this is something to be excited for? Seeing Game Freak just take advantage of die-hard Pokemon fans that truly love the series makes me so sad. And I don't know how anyone else doesn't have a problem with this. But anyways, the video's done. Bye.